Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another amazing video tutorial for you. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so much fun to do and it's gonna help you create that beautiful Candyland theme that all of us love so, so much. And so let me help you achieve the Christmas tree of your dreams this year and show you how you can make this absolutely gorgeous giant gummy bear ornament. As for the gumdrops, this is another very very difficult type of ornament to find on the market and if you do they are usually quite small or extremely overpriced but these are the type of ornaments that are particularly ideal to help you decorate big big trees because they fill gaps in a matter of seconds making look your tree so much fuller in literally instant. And so without any further ado let me show you how you can make your own. So this DIY, as you can imagine, is very similar to my latest gumdrops one, but it's actually easier and even cutier. And of course, the first things I really recommend to use is some sort of a plastic tablecloth. These are great to protect your furniture every time you make a DIY. So I really recommend you to purchase one. I got mine in my local pound store, so they're extremely affordable and very, very handy. Then of course you're gonna need some polystyrene foam teddy bears and this one I got from Amazon, I'm gonna link everything down below as usual. And they are about 20 centimeters in high which is around 8 inches and they come in a set of 6 so I purchased them all together. Then as I did for my gumdrops I'm gonna stick like a kebab kind of a toothpick on top of my teddy bears in between their ears just to make it much easier for me to paint them all around without touching the surface. You will see exactly what I mean in a minute. And then you just have to start painting your teddy bears and in my tutorials I'm using very bright colors contrary to what I choose for my gumdrops so in that video I was predominantly using pastels while in this video I'm using mostly bright colors almost neon because I think they are more fun and they are more suitable for that gummy bear look that I'm trying to achieve giving that pop of color to my tree which is perfect for my Candyland theme. In this tutorial I'm using only acrylic paint which I purchased once again in my local pound store and they did have these small little tubes of neons which I found to be perfect for my project and as you saw I only added a little hint of white to tone down just a little bit my pink and as you can see I was able to achieve the perfect bubblegum pink kind of color and so I just start painting all my gummy bears. part where the kebab stick becomes very very handy because as you can see in order for me to be able to paint the bottom I can literally hold the teddy bear as a lollipop without touching the fresh paint that I just spread all over it. And so exactly as I did for my gumdrops video I am using this little padded pillow to stick all my freshly painted gummy bears upside down so that they can perfectly dry without touching them or damaging the color in any way. In the meantime, I start opening this box of six bubbles that I purchased on my local B&M store and as you will see the only reason why I'm showing you this ornament is because I love the golden leads that they have and so I want to use them in my gummy bears because I think it's just the 
perfect little topper for this project. In fact, if you notice, they are very different from the traditional ornaments lids that you commonly found in the market. They are so much prettier and they have so much more details to it. And I rarely came across ornaments that have such an elaborate lid. They are usually much smaller and uh, simpler. And this one instead, besides having the perfect gold color that I wanted for my gummy bears, they are much larger and they look more luxurious with all these small little embossed details all around it, which give that perfect vintage vibe to your ornaments. And so they have that very kind of antique and precious look to it which are gonna give that beautiful finished look to my giant gummy bears. And so I thought you could actually purchase ornament leads on Amazon or in any craft shop. They are usually quite pricey and nowhere near as beautiful as this one. And so in the end, it was actually cheaper for me to purchase this set of six bubbles. And I'm sure the transparent bubbles as well as for the glitters inside are gonna be used for some other DIY project in the future. But for now, I just want to separate the lids from them and use it on my gummy bears. And so by now my teddy bears are all dry and I can start working on them once again. And uh, we're gonna now try to stick some glitter on it. And so I'm gonna use my usual PVA glue, which dry clear. I strongly recommend you also to use some sort of paper, you know, underneath because it's so much easier to collect all the glitters. They will not stick to your teddies once you finish with the glittering process. And here you just want to cover your gummy bears in a thin layer of glue where you're gonna sprinkle glitters on it so that they will evenly attach all over your teddies and as you can see I'm working my bears in halves so I'm doing first the front half following the back half but of course you have to work fast when dealing with glue because you don't want the glue to dry before you attach your glitters on it and so if you are not as practical in working with glue I will suggest you to work in smaller section at first and then eventually if you become more confident you can do like myself and just cover a whole half in one go to speed up the process. You can use any type of glitter colors, but personally, I adore working with iridescent glitter because I think they really elevate any basic color and they give that dreamy look to it, you know, that rainbow sparkliness effect that iridescent glitter create. It's so dreamy and so perfect for the Candyland theme. Once you cover in glitter your gummy bear, you want to place it once again upside down so that the glitter can dry and be completely sealed to your teddy surface. And keep repeating the process for all your bears. So once the glitters are dry in all your teddy bears, we can start attaching the golden lid on top of it. 
and so gently remove the kebab stick from each teddy and then here as you can see I start twisting the two little metal pieces in the middle because I wanted to end up with a singular piece right in the center to make much easier for me to attach it to my gummy bears All you have to do now is to just use a glue gun, pour some hot glue right on the top of your hole and then insert your little ornaments lid on top of it. And repeat the exact same process for all your teddies. And this is it! Oh my gosh you guys how gorgeous they turn out to look they look so professionally done with that beautiful golden lid as I always say the devil is in the details and I love so much to create high quality looking ornaments using the cheapest material available to me and I think that's the most fun part of crafting you know making amazing creations spending as little as possible they are so so sparkly clean and so colorful they really fill your tree so much in a matter of seconds i've never had such a gorgeous christmas tree and knowing that literally half of my decorations are made by myself give me so much pride and joy and so i really hope you're gonna give it a go and you're gonna try this tutorial because it's so so much fun and it's gonna make your christmas tree look absolutely stunning so that's it guys i really hope you enjoyed this video tutorial if you did please leave a like it will mean the world to me leave a comment down below let me know what you think about it subscribe if you didn't yet and i really hope to see you in my next video bye guys